for Sabrina, who died on, on the fire! Help us! Ow. Oh. Careful, fellas. Thanks there for your help, Witcher. We were in a tight spot there. The rot fiends are multiplying like rabbits. We were on our way to see the visionary, bearing gifts and all. But I'll be damned if I take one more step that way. Wouldn't be on your way to see him, would you? If you are, give him this coin for us. Oh. Ah, do what you will. All right. Maybe I will. Over here, inside the candles. Quick, you'll be safe here. Hold on. Guess they'll never learn. Over here, inside the candles. I'm learning about harpies. Give me a minute. Quick, you'll be safe here. Over here, inside the candles. I'm gonna use this opportunity to learn Wait, about harpies. You'll be safe here. Don't worry about my safety, friend. I got Over this. Over here, inside the candles. Quick, you'll be safe here. Oh, is that it? I'm already safe. It's safe. Over here, inside the candles. <sighs> There's no one here. Look, it's, it's fine. We're safe here. I awaited them. They were to come bearing gifts. I heard their cries. Guess they were attacked. If they're not here, they must be dead. No, they're alive. They didn't want to risk it anymore, went back to camp. They asked me to give you this coin for candles. This is but half. Why I'll not do more than braid some wicks for this? What do you want from me? I'll not believe you came here by chance. Yeah, you're right. I need to learn some things, and few are willing to talk. Sabrina Glevisig's story, that's what interests me most. Listen, I'll not speak with you until I get my coin. Pure and simple. Though I do provide charitable help to the faithful, if you were to become one of them. It's not really my thing. How much do you want? I'll give you... Give you 250, is that good? Do you mock me? What? What's the idea? This is piddling. How much do you want? Fine, 300. Wonderful. That's about right. So tell me, what's in your mind? You must know a lot about Sabrina Glevisig's death. Uh, Sabrina the Martyr left the world of the living to protect us all. Why the candles? What's the difference between Sabrina and other mages burned at the stake? Others were strong in life. Her power bloomed when death wrapped its steely arms around her. She took the soldier who ended her suffering under her kind care. He never had to fear walking alone in the dark again. Have you seen the area? It's full of beasts and monstrosities. Jahan, the merciful soldier, has walked in the blaze of our power ever since. No creature born of darkness can get close to him. Right. Did you hear about the curse Sabrina cast on the king? Of course. A well-deserved punishment. A ghostly spell from her crimson lips. The king concocted a cruel fate for the sorceress. Humiliated her, made her suffer the flames. Bound to a wheel and placed on the stake. She suffered in a way unimaginable to ordinary humans. But when the flame reached her maiden waist, not a single cry could be heard. Only words foretelling King Hensel's imminent demise. Let a shooting star split the heavens and mark its mortal journey with a braid of blood. Let fools be duped by the sight of fish scales turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate thousand-year-old rules, prompting a just punishment. 
Sabrina suffered so badly that a merciful soldier ended her torment, thrusting his spear into her aching heart. Right. Now, back to some other matters. Who are you? Our descendants will decide who we were when they see what we've left behind. Right, right. The valley's been engulfed by a battle of specters. Know anything about it? It's a place of horror. You can still hear the sound of steel and the cries of the dying. If you want to soothe their pain, you have to believe that Sabrina is watching over you benevolently. I won't achieve anything without some memory tokens. Magically active conduits left by those who fell in battle. They're supposed to symbolize faith, courage, hatred, and death. Faith? I don't know what those soldiers believed. But their faith didn't help them. They were deceived. Courage, hatred, and death. There was too much of all of them. Especially death. But I remember a knight who, ignoring the danger, led a handful of soldiers against overwhelming enemy forces. Seltkirk of Gullet. Demavan's champion. When Vandergrift's cohort cut him off from the rest of the army, he attacked the visitor fearlessly. If you're looking for a symbol of courage, Find Selkirk's armor. All right. Maybe I will. Who were you before? What does it matter? Let the sins of youth fade into oblivion. Look at the candlelight. Feel it, and you'll hear what it has to say to you. I can't hear a thing. Then you're not ready. But your time will come. You will then hear and understand. Trust me. If you say so. Why do you need so many candles? Why not build a campfire? This is Sabrina's flame. Its light protects us and guides us soldiers every step. Did you rob a convoy of wax sellers? I make the candles myself. I give them to anyone looking for protection within the flame of courage. Well, that's good of you. Tell me again what you know about Sabrina. What exactly do you want to know? Now, back to some other matters. I talked to the relic seller. I know you killed Sabrina. That man died long ago. I'm no longer a soldier, murderer, or coward. Sabrina set me free. Sure. All right, so... Any chance of finding that spear? It was so long ago, Witcher. But I believe the spear went to another soldier. The bugger sells relics from Our Lady by the Camp Inn. I know who you mean. Well, that's interesting. So long. Thanks for your time, Yargon. Relics, artifacts, trinkets and talismans. Hallowed and highly valuable. You got a spear among those relics? I know you have the spear Yahan used to pierce Sabrina's heart. I told you about that, and I thought the old freak was trying to forget the sins of his past. You know Yahan well? He despises me now, but things used to be different. We were called up at the same time. We fought under Hensel together. But I managed somehow while he hated it. Why did they send him to that ferocious battle? He was the worst dumbass in the entire army, but he outlived the best soldiers. Covered in shit, piss, snot and tears, and still he survived. He cracked when they burned Sabrina. A beautiful end to a fucking beautiful day. Then he went to the dogs. He pissed away all he had on drink. I was the fool who followed him and brought everything he pawned around the inns. That's how I got the spear. I see. I need that spear. Tough luck, Witcher. I last saw it a few years back. What happened to it? Look how similar we are. You want knowledge, I want coin. And we both need help to get what we want. How much? What are your customary takings on a contract? I'll gladly accept but one half of that. The fate of your king depends on that spear. All right. Since you put it that way, you see, when Yahan lost his head for Sabrina, I bought the spear from the innkeeper. 
The donkey's ass pawned it in the inn. He drank like a fish. By then, Yahan had already hidden in the hills, where no one dares to venture. Some call him the visionary, but in my book, he's just a nutter. Beats me why the beasts don't attack him. A fisherman who supplies the canteen said that some monsters hate the smell of fish oil. Yahon makes candles out of it. What did you do with the spear? Sorry to say I lost it in a dice game. Shame, because today it'd fetch a good price. I lost the spear to a soldier who later fought the squirrels in the forests of the Pontar Valley. He told me he'd used it to kill some Scoyatel big shot. I heard the shaft cracked as if there'd been some fucking jousting tournament. The most interesting thing is, that big shot is still alive. I heard he's now with that vixen from Edern. Some frigging commander. Elves are weird creatures. Who knows, maybe he still has that spearhead. Yorveth. You know him. I'll tell you for a hundred orans. Bah! <sighs> See you around. So long. Peddler. Hello again, Deathmold. I think I know how to free the king from his curse. Well then, let's get to work. Can't do anything until I have the spear the soldier stabbed Sabrina with. Problem is, it's in the hands of a Scoyatel commander named Yorveth. I know this Yorveth. Are you certain this is the spear? Mm-hmm. I last saw him back in Flotsam. Yorveth is in Vergen, Witcher. Along with most of the Scoyatel from the area, they've joined that peasant girl's insurgency. Yorveth part of a peasant uprising? It doesn't make sense. There's only one way to confirm or disprove it. You must cross to the other side of the mist. What of the other artifacts? Do you know them all now? Not yet. In that case, you must wait until you've learned everything before crossing. It's a dangerous voyage. Not one to attempt twice, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say. Mm. Alright, look. I've got to get through the mist, or I can't lift the curse. I shall supply the white flag when you set out as our emissary. The lass is reputedly honorable. She'll welcome you, invite you to a feast, and with a bit of luck, you may even plow her. You're sick, Death Mold. Here's you hoping. She's very pretty. Peasant girls, not to your liking? Not your concern. I've had a couple. In case the elves lack an understanding of diplomatic symbolism, please also take this armor. With His Majesty's blessing, I might add. A king's concern oh. can be boundless when his life depends on that of another. I spent some time working on this recently. This little marvel will guide you through the fog and provide a measure of protection from the spectres. Thanks. Appreciate it. See you. See you when I cross back. Good to see you, you old rogue. Why the long face, Sultan? Everything's fucked. The only sight worse than a sad dwarf is the sight of a very sad dwarf. I don't suppose you have any vodka? My hair. Will this cheer you up? Wonderful. Life without old mates and booze is like a woman without a rump. If you need a change of climate, come with me. I'm on my way to Vergen. You say that as if you're going to the brothel round the corner. Forgetting about the specters? I may have amnesia, but I remember the curse. Well, all I get around here is non human midget and the like. And I've dwarven brethren on that side. Sure as shit, I'll take Saska over that prick Hensel too. You really willing to help me cross? Of course. You know, Geralt, I have a feeling that Vergen's where I should be. I get you. Let's go. How do you plan to get through the fog? Thought it was suicide to venture into it. Death Mold gave me a protective amulet. Throw it out! I wouldn't touch anything belonging to that dick. The magical potential of the talisman will cause a local interference in the astral projection, creating disharmony where the two dimensions of reality meet. Uh, meaning? The mist should part to let us pass. You should have put it like that to begin with, instead of all that crap about astral bodies. I'll go with you. Alright, Don Zoltan. Follow me. I see the path. The amulet is guiding us. You sh
Not but again. Fucking fog. Do we do Look it? Get it this way. You'll be able to brag about seeing the ghostly fog from the inside for the rest of your life. Well, I'd rather brag about how I plowed three wenches at once in my youth. Oh. Kill him! Edon! Stop! Um. You're making a mistake! Hello? A mistake? Interesting. There's a war on. Don't know if you've noticed. And wars are won by killing foes. Or do I have it all wrong? The Witcher's a messenger. On his way to see Saskia. Not your typical messenger. Well, I don't know if you noticed. But we had to pass through an atypical fog in which your typical messenger would have shit just before a... Enough! We'll not let you inside, Vergen. But you can deliver your message to the commander of the Watch. He's stationed by the town gates. Plowing typical elf. Come on, Geralt. Alright then. Seems we have no choice in this. Why is Geralt of Rivia and Zoltan Chive? Pinch me button, for I believe I've dozed off while in duty. Could be an illusion, eh? Or some spectres from the battlefield have lost their way. Maybe we ought to tickle them with an axe, just to be sure. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm afraid there's no mage out there who can conjure up the Witcher's mug, nor the aroma of Zoltan's beer-soaked beard. <laughs> Yarpen Zigrin! Lice eat me if I'm not delighted to see that horrid mug of yours. <laughs> this lad here's scale and burden. Geralt, what are you doing standing there as if you've swallowed a halberd? Got a hug for an old mate? Oh. Um. Hello. Greetings. Triss has told me a lot about you. We Marigold? Ha! How is the lass? Let me tell you, Scalen, this here witcher's the very embodiment of chivalry. All the silt cooks of the world can't hold a candle to him. And you know why? No, but I got a feeling we're about to find out. Me? A knight? I'd sooner call Zoltan a show dancer. Well then, listen, everyone. At the time, we were escorting Cadewani army convoys through the Sherwood forests. Aye, aye, we served Hensel once, though all was for coin. Anyways, the Witcher was on the road as well, with Triss and Ciri heading south. The lass, I tell you, was a demoness incarnate. Pure pepper on her feet and healthy as a horse. But the sorceress fell ill. Some terrible pestilence held her, gave her the runs. That woman needed to go every five minutes. Never seen anything like it. And I've had my share of gut rumblings. This one time, I roasted an old ailing gerbil and... Oi! You promised us a chivalrous tale. And I'm delivering it, lad. In any case, the witcher would carry her into the bushes time after time. He treated and cared for her. Cleaned her. Bathed her. Sounds normal to me. A man looking after his woman. It's too much to call it chivalrous, Yarpin. Ha! Ah, wrong. Triss weren't his woman. Not his wife, nor lover. She was sick and in need of aid. And he was on a secret mission. Might have left her in some city, might have gone off on his own, but he didn't. Know why? Because he's got a heart of gold. He truly cares. A lad like you, Scalin. Don't know that being a knight's not just about thrashing around in full plate, a long sword in hand. It's not just about fighting duels and winning tournaments. Damn! I missed hearing your bullshit, Zigrun. Hmm, I don't believe anyone else has tried to tell me that story. How is the wee Marigold, anyway? Not great. Kidnapped? Kingslayer kidnapped her. Oh, damn the dogs! That's downright terrible. I suppose it's no coincidence you're here. No, um... Any idea where I might find the Dun Banner? Try the Nether World. The whole unit was cut down during the battle three years ago. I meant the unit's standard, which symbolizes death. Ah, that makes it a lot easier. We buried it with the remains of the Kedwenis. Where? Just outside Vergen. 
I'll mark it on your map as the road could get confusing. Strange things are afoot in those crypts, Witcher. Could any ghosts scaring off our folk? That would be normal since they were invaders. But one's some kind of amateur historian, asking all that venture there about the battle and the Dunbanner. I'll look into it. Thanks. Triss could be somewhere in this area. The plague. I've not seen her five years, must be. Since that day they proclaimed you dead. Last saw her in Rivia, in any case. From what I've been able to establish, the Kingslayer forced her to teleport the two of them to this area. And she's not on the other side of the fog. What did this Kingslayer look like? A huge, bald witcher. Wears a medallion with a snake on it. Sorry, Geralt. Doesn't even ring the tiniest bell, any of that. I might know something. This drunk in Vurgan claims he saw a redhead fall from the sky somewhere among the ravines. And then he said the sorceress Philippa Eilhart came around looking for this woman. Shriveled old minx. She sent her servant and some peasants to the ravines after her. But they came back empty-handed. Now Philippa's servant maid's gone, leaving the sorceress angry as a wasp. She even turned one of the plebs into a pig. I spoke to one of those peasants. He claims the lass was no servant, but an Elfgardian agent. And she apparently found something in those ravines. Maybe it was Triss. And maybe it was that witcher. Madame Eilhart. Or the old minx, as Yarpin calls her. Knows she's been duped and can't forgive herself for it. Did the woman flee south? Deeper into Edirn? Fucking hell! She came out the main gate not more than an hour ago. Headed straight for the fog. Thought she might be out to do some magic probing or whatnot. She knew a bit of magic. She might have crossed. I guess I need to visit Shillard when I get back. Interesting. How's Yorvith? Any chance I might run into him? Minimal. He follows Saskia around like a once neglected pup. Eyes on her at all times. At least the lass is well protected. What do you seek from Yorvith? Last I heard, you weren't exactly chummy. You heard right. But when I last saw him in Flotsam, he had something I need to lift the curse. Even if you see him, I doubt he'll give you anything out of the kindness of his heart. Perhaps Saskia can convince him? Guess I don't have much of a choice. Well? I have to see Saskia. To what end? To dispel the mist of wraiths, I need a few magic artifacts. What's Saskia got to do with that? Her sword is one of those items. And what do you suggest I do? Yorvith and Saskia banned us from letting strangers in. And here are two old mates come over from the other side who want just that. A lose-lose situation if ever I've seen one. That ought to be easy to get around. Cow pies ought to be easy to get around, yet we don't always succeed. I'm staying here, Yarpen. I want to join you, enlist. Will you have me in the Dwarven Brigade? Will I have you, Chiefy? Will I plow and have you? Why, I'll make you a fucking commander, you cocksucker! Problem solved. Scalen, you're my witness. Zoltan's no longer a stranger. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Now I'll introduce you to Saskia, and you can try to clarify the story with a sword for her. Or whatnot. Don't you fret about the sword, Geralt. I promise to ascend to the fucking heights of oratory. Be soft as a mink, cautious as a novice strumpet. I'll get you that blade if I have to shave my beard off. All right then. See that, Scalin? We were headed for a tragedy. Now we're headed for a comedy. Ah, youth these days. Lacking hope and heart. You know what Zoltan and I saw at Brenna, lad? To us, there's no such thing as the impossible. All right, fellas. It's nice to talk to you all, but we've got things to do. Ah, that's life. Open the gate. I've got to fetch me a certain sword. Wait a minute. If by some miracle you obtain that cursed blade, I'd advise you not to parade it out the main gate past the squirrels. Got another solution? There's another passage. I'll mark it in the Witcher's map and show you myself. Sound all right to you? It does. Sure. In the meantime, I'll look around for that flag. Prime, I'd say. Off we go then!
Uh huh. Good luck, fellas. Did I hear you mention a job? Indeed. One very much in your line. I know a collector in Wengerberg. He pays well for all kinds of monster related curios. Ericus Venom? Necker Hearts? Sounds doable. Harpy Feathers. Uh huh. Oh. Why feathers? I never asked. Got the order, and that's that. Interested? What kind of coin are we talking about? Why don't we do a test? Bring me a bundle of fine feathers, for which I'll pay you, and if we're both satisfied, we'll figure things out. He's gonna want more than a bundle? That'll mean a lot of traipsing around. A few more, yes. So? I'll keep my eyes open, but no promises. I've got more important things to deal with. I've got your feathers. Wonderful! Excellent quality! Just what I needed! I'll pay for each and every one! If you're in need of coin, just bring me more! How much more? Also... Harpies have become rare in this area. I'm not sure I understand. Supply drops, prices rise. By how much? Pay me one and a half times as much and we've got a deal. You must be mad! I'll not give you that! You said this was Witcher's work. So either agree to my rate, or find yourself another harpy specialist. So be it. I shall pay you more. Alright then. 60 harpy feathers it is. Who are you, and what do you seek? Geralt of Rivia. I seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy, handsome and color bearer of the Dun Banner, the best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. You may not remember me, but I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Vergen. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right. The Talus leading to Meria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? Um. Uh. You're mistaken. The Redanian regiments were on the left. The Temerians took the center. Correct. Yes. Perhaps you speak the truth. Try me again. Tell me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? It was... Menno Kohorn. I am beginning to believe you. Menno Kohorn. The repulsive head hound of the Nilfgaardian pack, but a great commander. He will again let the Nordlings blood. Would you agree? Uh... Huh? What is... Uh... Your memory has suffered after death. Cohorn perished. At Brenna. You are vigilant. I could not deceive you. Because I am of the Dun Banner. Perhaps you did fight at Brenna. It was so long ago I may have forgotten you. But Vergen is another matter. I can't answer for the state of your memory. You are right. Memory often fails us after death. I cringe to admit I've forgotten who commanded the armies during the Battle of Vergen. Perhaps the most important day of my life. And the last. Be so good as to remind me. Uh... Seltkirk led Edern. Vandergrift led us. 
Well done. Not all know that. Some believe that the kings commanded the armies during the battle, or that their mages did. Do you believe me yet? Not yet, but I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre at Vergen. Reverend Crest led us out of the fire. He had a magic medallion that protected us from the flames. Many survived? Zivik's platoon. Zivik, the regiment's best corporal. You have proven that you served in the Dun Banner. May I take the standard? Why do you desire it so? It will help me lift a curse. Curses are of no import to me. This one should be. It has stopped King Henzel's army from advancing. The Unicorn has returned. He stands at Vergen's gates. With your help, he'll avenge the Dun Banner. The standard lies in the sarcophagus. Take it. You will also find the sword of Colonel Gondor. Now, it is yours. Thank you. Where have you left your mount? There are no horses here. True. I would gladly drink with a brother from Brenna, but I am an unfettered soul. Strong drink means nothing, tastes of nothing. Perhaps I miss that most in death. Guard the standard. I grasped it firmly even as they cut me down. I will. You... you have my word. There we go. Alright, time to get out of here. More harpy feathers, just like you wanted. Good work! Why, it's even a pleasure to pay you! I gotta admit, that might have been the strangest job I've ever had. Well, it's hardly done. Say that again? I'll hear you out, but I've got a bad feeling about this. I need a few more feathers. Who is it that needs them? You or this collector? But he does, of course. Pretty suspicious. Why didn't you tell me how many I was supposed to bring right off? I... I needed to see the quality. Just a few feathers more. <laughs> I'll pay extra. Decide. Let me think about it. Well, I've already... I've already come this far. I just need eight more. Hey, guys. I mean, girls. Ladies. I've got some more feathers. Sleek and untattered. I hope that'll do it. I look at them and select the finest. There's your payment, <laughs> with a small bonus. What am I supposed to do with the ones I have left? Whatever you wish. I've no need for them. Farewell. At your service. Oh. All right. Until next time, friend. Shit, you stink. Sultan, you were supposed to bring the sword. I failed, Geralt. That um, was not the best idea, Witcher. Dwarves are poor liars in general, and that's especially true of this one. You know everything you need to know? Yes. You need the weapon to lift the curse from Henselt and free the souls of the Fallen. My lady, I know you're at war with Henselt, but the curse threatens Vergen as well. It's a field of uncontrollable magic energy. No need to exert yourself. I know this. The sword shall be yours. Just like that? Yes. I'm glad to help and thank you on behalf of the Vergenes, the souls of whose loved ones will finally be granted the peace they have so long deserved. Milady. I am no lady. My name is Saskia. Saskia. I'll need some time to lift the curse, enough for you to fall back. The Scoia'tael and peasants can't hope to defeat a professional army in open battle. Withdraw deeper into Edirne. You underestimate them. Looking to be another Elrin? Do you want them to die with your name on their lips? You know that's what'll happen if there's a fight. The fighters will die quick deaths. But then Henzold's men will enter the town. They'll spare no one. 
They'll kill the men, rape the women, turn the beautiful ones into slaves, and torture the rest to death. I have seen conquered cities and know the risks. Why do you aid Henselt? Why do you risk your life to lift this curse? I have my own agenda. A certain seer foretold that in lifting the curse, I'd recover my memory. I'm certainly not Henselt's devoted follower. In that case, join my forces. I can't. I have certain obligations on the other side. Friends who remained in Henselt's camp. Friends I can't leave behind. I too have obligations that prevent me from fleeing or withdrawing. I cannot disappoint all those who placed their trust in me. Go where you must and hope your obligations don't drive you to fight me. I'm no soldier, Saskia. You can be sure of that. Time will tell. Farewell, Witcher. And look after your friends. Henselt is a true rogue. See ya, you old prick! Don't let them kid when I do, and don't get killed. That goes for you too, Zoltan. Yeah. Well to you both. <clears throat> Saskia, I forgot one wee thing. Geralt wishes to meet with Jorvef. He's got dealings with the elf. I need the head of the spear used to finish off Sabrina as she uttered the curse. Jorvith had it when we ran into each other in Flotsam. He lost it playing dice. Scalen now has the spearhead. The young Burden is a gambler, an addict. And perhaps Vergen's top sharp. You should speak to him. Jorvith put that spearhead up as a bet? When it comes to getting folk to sit down to a game of poker, Scalen can be convincing. His pack is bulging with treasures. You'd be surprised. All won at dice. I won't need convincing. I see. We'll see how he does against me. Farewell to you both. Uh, yeah. Time to get out of here. I heard you have the head of Jorvith's spear. I do indeed. I could use that spearhead. Not a chance in hell! It's my trophy! Wanted off the greatest killer among elves. In certain circles, that makes me a hero. What were you playing? Dice poker. I've rolled a few dice in my time. Do I hear a challenge? Mm -hmm. I trust you'll not ask me for a handicap. Though I must warn you, I aim to be merciless. Curse or no curse. Let's begin. Alright then. It's your funeral, pal. Let's do this. Witcher. Like that fellow, uh, what was his name? Blaskowitz. Who was he? Another who sought a magic spear of fate or destiny. Old story, doesn't much matter anymore. In any case, if you care to drop a few more orins in my pouch, I'll be more than glad to play you. Alright then, you're on. Let's do this. This time, no messing around. Uh... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I win. You play like a true sharp. Almost like a cheat. But, true to my word, the spearhead's yours. Thanks, Galen. 
I heard you have a few more interesting trinkets I could win off you. I could find something. <sighs> Maybe next time, friend. For now, I have a curse to lift. Yes, you're beautiful, my queen. My lady. You're a wonder sight. <laughs> All in your nest, envy you. <laughs> um... I hope I'm not interrupting. Hello. Pretty warm for this time of year. It is colder usually, isn't it? <clears throat> the mages must be up to something. Oh yes, they devise with experiments. Always changing the world. They'll botch it one day, and it'll be the end of us, I tell you. I shudder to even think about it. Yeah, I, I hear you, brother. Loud and clear. I want you to have this feather. I have no use for it. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, neither do I. Uh, neither uh, does neither this collector, is collector, you mean. mean. Yes, yes. Uh, neither does he. I wonder why he needed a specific number of feathers. Perhaps to match the number of empty spaces in his feather album. Don't see how that would matter. It's immensely important! Well, I hmm. guess I don't know much about collections. All right then. Well, I'll uh, I'll see you. See you around. Um. Good, you're here. The Nilf Guardians attacked us. Any idea why? They were loitering around here, staring into the fog as if waiting for something. I summoned Fen, Silas, and a few others, and told Vess to cover us from a distance while we went to talk to them. And. So, I asked the black dogs courteously why they were gazing into the fog, as if the Emperor himself was about to emerge from it. No answer. But I can see the anger, knitted brows, faces reddening. And they start growling to each other in that dog's tongue of theirs. A woman came out of the mist, beautiful and barely alive. She dropped to the ground and a small object slipped from her hand. It was a jade figurine. No larger than a man's hand. If I didn't know it was impossible, I'd say it was Triss turned into a statuette. It is possible. Artifact compression. Where's this woman? I don't know. The girl growled at the soldiers and all hell broke loose. The black ones jumped us and she ran off towards the camp. I need to follow her. We're going with you. Fall in! <sighs> Alright then. Let's do this. Hmm. That We're too late. Doesn't look good. <sighs> is the Percival ready to sail? It is. But they will not let us go. Henselt has plans of his own. I couldn't give a shit about Henselt. Schillard has Triss, and I need to save her. It's not an option. They'll not let us sail until you lift the curse. And we've no chance of catching the Nilf Guardians on foot. If they wanted to kill her, she'd be dead already. Mm. Besides which, we know where they've gone. Loch Muin, Witcher. The monarchs and mages are to meet and decide the fate of the known world. You will find Triss there. I promise. At last. Have you got Sabrina's spear? Not only that, I've got all three artifacts. You won't regret it. Let's do some magic! Oh. Alright. She died here. And pissed and shat as she did. Evil place. You can feel it in the air. Those candles don't help any either. They've gone mad. Someone said the bitch died a martyr, and now the common folk burn candles for her. I have to observe this place from a distance. During the execution, I was on that hill. I'll show you. Alright. Lead the way, my liege. Flat area. That's good. Are you concerned for your feet? Your Majesty, you need to draw runic protective signs around the stake. Magic signs are the domain of witches, not kings. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
look. It's important that you draw the circle yourself, Your Majesty. Important for whom? It was your death, Sabrina foretold. So who do you think? All right. Tell me what we do. To lift the curse, we have to reenact the events from three years ago. How do you wish to do that if half of those involved lie rotten with the worms? It's about the energy of that time. The energy of the woman who cast the curse combined with the energy of its victim. <laughs> when you get the runic signs right, Sabrina's ghost will appear. Bring the bitch to life. It'll be a pleasure to put my spear in her. Remember to stab her in exactly the same spot as that soldier did, but earlier this time, before the sorceress completes the curse. I look for the hole. But how am I to know when? When you realize that the curse concerns you. But be ready, she may use a different name. Is that all? For you. Then I take over. Spectres might appear during the exorcism. Might or will? It depends on Sabrina's aura in the spirit world. I'll wager ghosts loathe the cunt. Let's get it over with. Tell me what I am to draw. You have to go down there, Your Majesty. What about you? I'll guide you. I have a good view from up here. All right, uh... Oh. Where the f Where is he? My king? Where are you, man? Uh... Hmm. What is this? What's going on? Oh, there he is. Where do we start, though? Okay, we'll start from here. Right, from here. Oh, okay, okay. That so that's clarification. Okay. Uh, let me go. Okay. Pixie ring, candles, tree. Skull. Mm. Corpse. Mm. Milk. Mm. Head. Go towards the pixie ring, your majesty. I must have got it wrong, sire. We need to start again. Oh. Go towards... Now spread the powder and head for the stone bowl. Alright, keep going towards the... No. The bread? Maybe? Okay. Let's, let's try the bread. Pour the powder towards the petrified bread loaf, your majesty. I must have got it wrong, sire. We need oh. to start again. Sorry about that. Now spread the powder... Okay. Milk. And, uh... And... Back to, to the Go pixie? towards the pixie ring, your majesty. I must have got it wrong. Oh, man. Alright. This is gonna be... It's gonna be a long time here. Let's strap in, everyone. Now spread the powder. Okay. Milk. And then... Corpse. Find the raven's corpse, your majesty. Oh. 
Oh, okay. We're making progress. Um. Uh. No. Maybe. Maybe. Now towards the burnt tree. All right, all right, okay. We're starting. We're starting with the circle first. So, head towards the black candles, your Majesty. I must have got it wrong. Come on. Oh, give me a break. Now okay. spread milk. I got too confident, I guess. All right, milk. And um. Find the raven's corpse, your majesty. Okay, raven. Milk raven. Uh, tree. Now towards the burnt tree. Milk raven tree. Um, okay, let's examine. Hmm. Oh. Maybe? Let's try that. Go towards the pixie ring, your majesty. I must have got it. No, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Now Fine. spread the powder and head. Spread that powder. You're paying for this. You, you know that, right? Okay. Just so you don't get surprised. Find the raven's corpse, your majesty. All right, milk raven tree. Now towards the burnt tree. Uh, okay. So we need we need like some sort of corner thing. Mm. The candles turn out to be wrong. Mm. The pixie seems to be wrong as well. Mm. Goat skull? Mm. Or the bread. Mm. Nah, it's not the bread. Let's try the goat skull. Now go towards the goat skull, your majesty. Ah, okay. We're not making a circle. We're making something else. I don't know what we're making. Uh, now towards the raven corpse? Find the raven's corpse, your majesty. I must have got... Man, this is so brutal. There's not even a checkpoint. Now spread the... Like... A redo? You can't just, like, wash away the powder. You have to do it all over again. It's messed up. Okay, milk. Find the raven's corpse, your majesty. Milk, raven, tree. Now towards the burnt tree. And then back towards the skull. Now go towards the goat skull, your majesty. Okay. Uh, the raven corpse was wrong. So which which is the correct answer? Mm. Probably not the pixie ring. Mm. Probably not the black candle. Mm. Probably not the tree. Mm. Not the goat skull. Mm. It's definitely not the raven corpse. Mm. Could be the milk. Mm. Ah, it's the bread. It's the bread. Okay. Pour the powder towards the petrified bread loaf, your majesty. I must have got it wrong, sire. What? We All right, that's it. I'm looking this up. This is ridiculous. I'm not going to sit here doing this trial and error nonsense. Now spread the powder and head for the stone bowl. <sighs> okay. Uh, milk. Raven. Find the raven's corpse, your majesty. Milk, raven, tree. Now towards the burnt tree. Okay. Uh... 
Okay, Raven. Find the Raven's corpse, your majesty. I must have got it wrong, sire. What? That's that's what the wiki said. Oh, no. No, the wiki is wrong. Okay. Uh uh All right, all right. The most elegant Okay, okay. So I was using the reverse method, not the official method. I'll do the official method. Official method is bread? Pour the powder towards the petrified bread loaf, your majesty. Okay, bread. Candle. Head towards the black candles, your majesty. If we're doing it right, we gotta do it right, you know? Okay, bread, candle, then skull. Now go towards the goat skull, your majesty. Alright, and then... And then... And then... Tree. Now towards the burnt tree. Alright. And then... Raven. Find the Raven's corpse, your majesty. Alright. And then... <sighs> then, milk. Now spread the powder and head for the stone bowl. And finally, back to the pixie ring. Go towards the pixie ring, your majesty. Sire, form a large, even circle at a good distance from the pyre. It's turned out beautifully. Pity the wind will soon scatter it. The evil power of the curse came from the fire. Fire's a hard element to tame, and this one had added potency. It consumed the body of the one casting the curse. Enough of these phantasmagorias, as Death Mold puts it. Look at my boots! Stay in the circle, your majesty. The powder reeks of dwarven dung. A small sacrifice to make, your majesty. Considering. Hello? There we go. Some brave soldiers, your majesty. They're scared of ghosts as we all are. Curses, there's hundreds of them! Calm down, your majesty. We're protected by the magic runes. The ghosts won't get past the barrier. I'm not afraid of people, but those plowing creatures have begun to bother me. You're safe if you stay within the runes. What should I do? When the sorceress calls your name, you have to show mercy and end her suffering with the spear. You've broken the circle. Spectres could get through. What shall we do? I'll take care of them. You finish the exorcism, your majesty. Curse you, Henselt! By blood and fire! Let it be so by blood and fire! Let the shooting star split the heavens! With a trail of blood! Let fools be choked by the sight of fishtails turned by magic into square pieces of gold. <laughs> Let the unicorn violate thousand-year-old rules by the pain and power of fire devouring air. By the charred bones of the innocent. Let the prophecy be fulfilled. You will die in accordance with my prophecy. You cannot escape your fate. Curse you, Henselt! By blood and fire! Let it be so by blood and fire! Let a shooting star split the heavens and work its mortal journey with a trail of blood! 
Let fools be chooped by the sight of fish scales turned by magic into square pieces of gold. <laughs> now, Your Majesty. No. <laughs> 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 It worked. Are you sure? All I can say for sure is that a dwarf can pass between a troll's legs, even on tiptoe. But I think it went well. Good. For me and for you. But all the worse for Edern. You owe your freedom from the curse to Saskia's generosity. You should send a delegation to thank her, Your Majesty. I'll thank her in person once you disperse the fog of specters from the battlefield. That'll be much harder. I have faith in you, and faith can move mountains. Funny you say that. I need an artifact symbolizing faith. Yes, Deathmold told me. I'll give you the medallion. First, I must have a drink. Come to my tent. I'll roll out my best wine. You deserve it! Alright. Well, who can say no to that? I'm glad you're here. A messenger from Adania arrived this morning. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the King of Redania, Radovid V, son of Vizima and Hedrig from Malior, the heir... Get to the point. The point is, it's not true that after the death of King Foltest, Temeria will be inherited. In truth, Foltest left a lawful heir. Who is this heir? Queen Adda, daughter of King Foltest and wife of Radovid. Adda? Everyone knows she was the fruit of incest. If my memory serves, Geralt, she's under a curse, isn't she? It's no worse than your majesty's curse. I don't run around the castle devouring people. Tell King Radovid that I will not honor a monster with a royal title. If Redania doesn't wish... What the hell's going on? Guards! Uh, what the... Who are they? They wanted to kill me. Me! Ha! The scum. Witcher, we must talk. Deathmold said you needed this medallion. You saved my life, and I'm not nearly as ungrateful as some might say. You'll receive the pendant in due time. Pity none could be taken alive. Don't fret, Tanzaville. There are ways to make a dead man speak. I know those methods. Necromancy is forbidden. In the absence of the Council and the Conclave, it's hard to know what is forbidden. What would you say, Your Majesty? I want to know everything. 
plough that corpse if you have to. Do anything it takes. Necromancy, your majesty, is a branch of magic. I don't care. Do as you're told. Count me out. Ah, as the common folks say, be at ease, the woman's gone. I'll need your help, Witcher. You know where to find me. It's never ending. I'm the bloody king, but she mumps and sulks like some common servant was trying to grope her. Hmm. Well, you could always... You could always turn her into another Kedweni saint. And get hit with the same dong again. I hope you're jesting. Everything a bit of change when they appoint a new council and conclave. Otherwise, damn it, I will light up the stakes again, like Demavend. Go. Deathmold is probably biting his nails in anticipation. Hmm. I have no doubt about that.